When I reached my in-law's house, my husband greeted me with a grin. The results just arrived, so come on in, quickly, haha, he said. Wondering what results he was talking about, I followed him into the living room. My husband placed an envelope containing documents on the table. What's this? It's the DNA test results, haha. This will prove you have had an affair. My husband smirked and spread the contents of the envelope on the table. My name is Lisa, a 27-year-old housewife. I've been married to Mike for two years, and I'm currently pregnant. Not long ago, I experienced intense labor pains and was rushed to the hospital. Though it's been several hours since I was brought to the hospital, I just gave birth. I had our child, who I endured the pain to give birth to. I marveled at how cute they were, and I'm so glad they were born safely. Happiness and relief welled up inside me all at once. Once I let myself relax, a wave of intense fatigue hit me. The labor lasted a full day, and I couldn't get any sleep. As a nurse took our baby away to clean them up, I longed for sleep. My husband rushed over after work to be with me during the birth, but he didn't say much after our child was born. At the time, I was too exhausted to notice anything off about him. The nurse returned holding our baby, and then, Dad, please hold the baby, she said, trying to hand the baby to my husband. But he didn't show any interest in holding the baby and looked at me, saying something. Exhausted, I couldn't hear what he was saying at all. Moreover, at that moment, I was getting stitches, and I couldn't concentrate on his words. Huh? What did you say? I asked once again. But he just left the room without holding our child even once. Wondering what happened, I noticed that the nurse and doctor had uncomfortable expressions on their faces. I didn't understand what was going on, but I was so tired that I just fell asleep. When I woke up, I found myself in a hospital room, and my baby was in the nursery. My husband didn't come to the hospital at all the next day. However, according to the nurse, he was at the hospital and had seen our child. Wondering why he didn't come to my room, I received a shocking message from him. After you're discharged, we need to talk about a divorce. I didn't understand what he meant. Why, all of a sudden? I wanted to know the reason, but he didn't reply to any of my messages. I was so shocked that my health didn't improve, and my hospital stay became longer. Finally able to go home, I returned to our house. Looking around the room, I noticed that several items of clothing were missing from the closet. I realized that he must have gone back to his parents' house, which made me even more sad. I just got discharged. I sent him a message. Then my husband replied, This Saturday, let's talk at my parents' house at 1 p.m. That was all he said. What's going on? Did I do something wrong? Feeling frustrated, the day of the meeting arrived. Since the matter was serious, I took my parents with me to my in-law's house. My sister-in-law, who had experience with childbirth, agreed to look after the baby. When we arrived at my in-law's house, my husband greeted us with a grin. The results just arrived, so hurry up and come in, huh? Wondering what he meant by results, I followed him into the living room. He then placed an envelope filled with documents on the table. What's this? It's the results of the DNA test, ha ha ha. You seem to be panicking. No, I just don't understand why you do that. Well, it doesn't matter. This will prove your infidelity, he said, spreading the contents of the envelope on the table. There were several documents, but the one summarized that the child was indeed his. See? The child and I are... Huh, why? It's my child. It's supposed to be someone else's, I said, bewildered. I had no idea what was in his mind. He made no sense to me. My in-laws tried to calm him down. All my parents and I could do was watch in disbelief. When he finally calmed down, I asked him a question. What do you want? Why do you do a DNA test? Do you think I was cheating on you? Well, when the nurse tried to hand you the baby, you turned pale, huh? According to my husband, when the nurse tried to give him the baby, he turned to me and said, This baby doesn't look like me. Whose child is it? Are you cheating on me? That's what he had apparently said. Huh, you said that back then. You turned pale at that moment, didn't you? No. I asked you what, remember? 
You were just pretending because I hit the mark, right? I was furious at his remark. You realize how difficult my childbirth was. The doctor said I had lost a lot of blood and was anemic. Of course I looked pale in that condition. So then I've told you so many times already, I never cheated on you. When I asked my husband why he thought that, he said he had been researching childbirth online before the birth. He came across the term cuckoldry and became suspicious. There were many stories of wives trying to cuckold or cheat on their husbands. In one post, the husband said to his wife when attending the childbirth, The baby looks nothing like me. And the wife suddenly panicked. As the post continued, the man secretly did a DNA test and found out the child was not his. The post ended by saying that immediately after giving childbirth, women are exhausted and it's an ideal time to catch them off guard. He tested me because of that. Unbelievable, but the baby didn't look like me at all. Are you serious? Look at this picture. I showed him a photo of the baby I took with my phone. My in-laws were next to my husband, also looked intently at their grandchild's photo. Then my mother-in-law said, Oh my, and brought out an old photo album. Here, here, this is a photo of Mike when he was born. Wow, the baby looks exactly like me. They're identical. Do you get it now? The baby is truly yours. I've... I've done something terrible. My husband hung his head in shame. My in-laws tried to console him. I realized that my feelings for my husband had completely cooled. So, about the divorce and child support, huh? No, we don't have to divorce. It's my child after all. Seriously, you suspect me for no reason, and now you're saying this? I'm really sorry about that. I regret it. Please. My husband frustrated himself before me. My in-laws flustered, said, Lisa, we're truly sorry for our foolish son. But please, could you find it in your heart to forgive him? However, I said, please give me some time to think. Can we live separately for a while? And I made a promise to set up another discussion later. Actually, there was one thing that bothered me. It was when my husband, grinning, suspected me of cuckolding. He had a smug look on his face even when he was spreading out DNA test documents. Normally, if a wife had an affair, the husband would be furious. I immediately requested a private detective agency to investigate my husband. In about two weeks, I was able to find out about my husband's misdeeds. He was having an affair with a junior colleague at work, and they seemed to have a very intimate relationship. In other words, my husband probably thought that if I had an affair, he could divorce me on my fault, get compensation, and be with his lover. And he must have been overjoyed thinking that if he set a trap as he saw on the post, I would have a pale face and his plan would work. I immediately contacted my husband and headed to my in-law's house with the documents. You took too long making me wait for two weeks, he said that, but he seemed irritated for some reason. How could he have such an attitude with me? I felt that I wouldn't be satisfied unless I thoroughly punished this guy. So, Lisa, have you reconsidered the divorce? I'm sorry to you and the family, but I still want a divorce. What? What? Why? Mike has been reflecting enough. Yes, even when you were separated, he was grumbling about how sorry he was to you. Is that so? Then, for some reason, my husband got angry. It's not fair to make me wait and then just leave me. First of all, can you, a housewife with no income, support our children on your own? You can't live without my income. How could he be so confident even though he had an affair? Why are you so against the divorce? Don't want to pay child support? What are you talking about? I just don't want to be away from my child, Lisa. That's a strange acquisition. Mike doesn't care about his child. As my in-laws began to question my words, I decided to get to the heart of the matter. Please take a look at these, everyone, I said and spread out several photos I had taken from an envelope. In them, my husband was entering the apartment of his lover's room together. In other photos, they were entering a love hotel. My in-laws were speechless looking at the photos. Is this... Yes, this is evidence of Mike's infidelity. My husband's face turned pale instantly. So, in short, you were the one deceiving me first. 
You probably thought it would be convenient if I had an affair and the child wasn't yours. But since I was completely innocent, you must have panicked. Even if you divorced and got together with your lover, you wouldn't want to pay child support. My husband's face turned paler and paler, as if I'd hit the nail on the head. Anyway, I can't go on with you anymore. Please sign this divorce paper. I will request alimony and child support through a lawyer. My husband was reluctant to sign the divorce papers even at this point, but my in-laws urged him to do so. We are truly sorry. No matter how many times we apologize, we can't make up for it. They apologized to me on their hands and knees, but it wasn't the in-laws who were at fault. It was their idiot son. Thank you for everything up until now, I said, lifting my in-laws' faces and leaving their house. After that, the divorce went through smoothly, and I claimed alimony for my ex-husband and his lover. I was able to get quite a lot of alimony, and I was also able to claim monthly child support for my ex-husband. My ex-husband and his lover are said to be getting cold stares from their co-workers now. Apparently, my ex-husband had already been spreading rumors at work that I was cheating on him. However, when all was said and done, it was he who was having an affair, so he lost all credibility with his co-workers. By the way, I heard this story from an acquaintance who works at my ex-husband's workplace, so I was able to sue him for defamation and get some compensation for that as well. My ex-husband ended up drowning in debt, lost all his money to have fun with his lover, and was dumped by her. And his lover felt uncomfortable and resigned from the company. My ex-husband, no matter how uncomfortable he feels, has to pay alimony and child support, so he can't quit his job and is in living hell. Well, it's poetic justice, or rather, they got what they deserved. On the other hand, I got a job as an office worker through a friend's introduction, and I'm working hard as a single mother. My newborn son is growing up healthy and adorable. I want to fall in love again, but maybe I'll wait until things settle down a bit. For now, I'll just work hard and earn more money from my child. Thank you for watching until the end. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.